Well, today's kind of special because I'm actually going to share a couple different things with you today. Um, I want to talk to you about repurposing the containers that candles come in. How many of you are, I'm going to say this in an affectionate way, are smelly people? How many of you love smells? <laughs> aromas, scents. I'm a smelly person. I love burning candles. I love the smell uh, creating, you know, kind of burning a candle to set a certain mood or a feel to make something feel like spring or autumn or, you know, whatever's going on in my house. I love smells. I am a smelly person. I, when it comes to candles, which is what we're going to be talking about today, um, I like yummy smells. Um, I really like things that, that smell yummy. <laughs> um, what do y'all think? Do you like yummy smells? Okay. There are all kinds of smells. And um, I actually have a good friend, Amy. We are in the same um, uh, business group together. And she is just so sweet. And she makes the most amazing candles. They are awesome. They're completely, they're soy-based. They are, uh, she hand pours them. They are so yummy. Um, and I say yummy because she sent me um, these most recent candles I have from her are both yummy smells. And so, uh, yeah, I really love them. Um, and she is, you know, it's really funny when it comes to smells because we all kind of have our own favorite smells. And um, I know that she has like a cute scent quiz and stuff. So you can actually take this little quiz and it'll kind of tell you what your, what your, your smelly, you know, what, what smelly sounds so awful, <laughs> what your scent favorites are, what your aromas, you know, which aromas you're going to, going to like the best. Some people really love, oh, you Gail, do you have her candles too? Oh, that's awesome. And Carolyn, do you as well? Okay, well, I'm talking about Amy over at Wix Wax Candles, Wix Wax Candles. And so um, in talking, at, we were at a mastermind together not long ago, and I was telling her, I said, I really would like to do, um, show people what they can do, because there's so many things you can do to repurpose the actual container that the candle is in. Um, and so... That's what I want to show you today, because here's the thing. We can actually repurpose the candle container even when the candle's still in it. So I want to talk to you a little bit about that because we have to deal with the heat, you know, of the candle. But also after the candle has burned down, you can repurpose these containers and use them for fun and functional ideas, right? They could be decorative. They could be um uh, organizational. You could use them, decorate them, make them really cute for your craft room, for your craft supplies, for things like that. Okay. Carrie, you have bought from her since Jingle and Mingle. Well, that's awesome. She also has um, a candle of the month club and it is amazing too. And I think she may actually be coming on today. So we'll see. We'll see if she pops in to the live. I think she's going to be coming on in a little bit, but she was kind enough to um, send me two extra candles that I could, could play with today. One of them I'm going to give away. Okay. One of them I'm going to give away. So I'm going to set up my, uh, live gift away really quickly here and give me just a second to do that. So it'll collect your comments. So somebody will win a candle today. Let's see if I can find, I have so many things saved here. Um, do, do, do. There it is. Okay, so we're going to set up. Okay, let me make sure it's grabbed it. Okay, it's going to start collecting comments right now. <laughs> okay, so it's going to start collecting comments right now. Sally, if you're interested in ordering, if you love candles like I do, and she puts her heart and soul into these candles. You guys should go watch her. She'll show, she does a lot of videos of herself, um, uh, even pouring the candles and talking about the scents. And when you get a candle, um, it's so sweet. They each come with a letter and basically just kind of like the little story um, or the information behind the scent. It's so cute. It's so, so cute. So she has a candle of the month club. She also, you can also buy, purchase candles just from her. And she was kind enough to give me an affiliate link. So there's actually an affiliate link in the description on this post. 
And um, real quick before we get started, I'm going to actually come over here to, and I'll post the affiliate link in the comments as well here. So let me do that really quickly. All right. And then we'll get going because I have, um, I think you're going to really enjoy the information I'm going to share with you today. Okay. I'm going to put check out her candle. Whoop candles here. Okay. Just a second. All right, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I just put it in the comments so that you guys can um, find it easier, but it's up in the, it's up in the um, description as well. Anyway, Perfect, perfect, perfect. If you ever are looking for like a gift for someone, I mean, I think a candle is just such a great option. And you can actually turn these things into something that's more, um, you know, custom to whoever you're giving it to. Or maybe you want to customize the candle to match the colors in your bedroom, right? Or in your bathroom or wherever you're going to be putting um, this beautiful candle. The other thing you could do is like maybe you want to match the scent. If you have a candle that's like lemony, well, maybe you want to decorate it in a way that could be kind of fun with maybe a lemon napkin, a paper napkin. So I'm going to show you what these look like. This is the candle of the month. It is big. Do you see that? And I like how the lids have the little seal on them just like that. They are fabulous. Okay. And I'm so excited that some of you already, um, order from her because now they can hear it from you and not just me, right? The candles are wonderful. They're super scented. I think she puts in extra scent, um, more so than probably maybe the standard is that's out there. And I'm going to be working with this one right here today. So I have one to give away and I have one that I'm going to play with. Okay. So the first thing I want to tell you is that when you have a candle, right, that's in a container, um, you took her scent quiz. Good. Yay. I'm so glad that you did. Okay. So I want you to make sure um, to kind of look at what, what's on the, the candle container. Um, what Amy does on hers is this is kind of like a clear, uh, kind of like a clear label, clear sticker. And the way that you can, if you want to remove this, um, you can take like a heat tool. Oops, my heat tool is not plugged in. Let me plug in here real quick. Okay. And this is true of a lot of candles. You're going to have to just look at the container and kind of see how it looks. And if you heat them up a little bit, that will help. Um, sometimes you can just sand them off. Um, I have a couple candles at home that I just was able to just, um, they were more paper, like a paper type label. Um, so I was able to just kind of sand them down, sand them off, but we can get this a little bit of, see there, it's just going to come right off. So if we get it warm, we can start taking that off. just see something. I want to try something here real quick. If I, let's see, I'm going to put it in here. Yeah. Oh yeah. So sometimes it's a situation where you can just kind of sand it down. I'm going to paint over this and I'll tell you why. So if it's easier to heat it and peel it off, you can. If you want to just come in and kind of sand it off, it's not going to hurt the um, container because again, I'm going to, I'm going to paint over this. So we're not going to see this part, but I'm just going to, I don't want to take the time to have to try to, to, to peel everything off with a heat gun. So I'm just going to sand it down. Now I'm using my country chic paints for this. Okay. So the first thing I want to tell you, okay. The first thing I want to tell you what I'm doing is I'm just kind of sanding it down where it's smooth. Um, I'm going to tell you that 
you can decorate a candle container that still has the candle in it. Okay. But there's a couple things we have to think about. And when I say decorate, I mean napkinize. We're going to put napkin art. We're going to use a, a paper napkin on this candle. But here's the thing. We can't just go Mod Podge it on. All right. Because if, it, if you're going to decorate a container that still has the candle in it that you intend to burn, okay, that you intend to burn, it's going to activate the heat from the glass. You've picked up a glass candle before, right? That's been burning for a while. They get super hot. So what's going to happen is as this heats up, it's going to kind of reactivate the Mod Podge. So it's important if you want to decorate a container, a candle container like this one, that you intend to still burn the candle, okay? We need to paint it first. All right. And we're actually going to paint it with country chic paint. Okay. Country chic paint. This is a, um, a chalk and mineral based paint. So it hardens, it hardens and it cures. We need a layer of this between the glass, right? Where the heat, it's going to absorb the heat, right? The glass and the Mod Podge. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay, since, did you get that since? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off just painting. And I'm going to kind of hold this up for you. I just want you to see that I did kind of sand this down. You can heat this to remove the label, sand it down, take a baby wipe or something to remove any sticky. I'm just going to paint right over this. It's a cool thing with napkin art, you know, you really don't have to go through too much trouble. And as I paint this, you guys, I just stuck my fingers right in the paint. Okay, I'm going to hold it like this, okay? As I paint this, I'm going to bring it kind of right up to the rim without going over the rim. Okay, so does everybody understand? This is... The method I would use, I, I like painting them anyway, just because it's fun to kind of, uh, I like to paint glass and glass, one of the best things you can paint glass with is going to be a chalk and mineral based paint because it's actually going to adhere to the glass. You can paint anything with this paint. It is fabulous. So the first coat is going to look really streaky. The first coat is really like a primer. But again, if we want to decorate a candle that maybe we want to gift or we want to, again, match wherever we're going to be putting it. Maybe you want it to match your, like I said, your bedroom, your bathroom, something like that. Or you want it to kind of have a decoration on it that matches the scent. I pulled this napkin out because I was like, oh, that'd be cute on a candle, right? If it was kind of those kind of scents or flavors. I call them flavors. <laughs> you don't see the link either? Okay, I'll post it again. So I appreciate you using the affiliate link. It was so kind of her to send these to me. All right, let me post that again here real quick. Okay, let me know if it shows up. All right, and then I'm going to give away one of hers. Hi, Luke. <laughs> okay, so if the link, the affiliate link is up in the description on this post, but it's also in the comments. And um, Cheryl is here and she is posting the link there as well. Thank you, Cheryl. Oh my goodness, so fun. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to add a, actually, let me dry this. It, the, the first coat really needs to be dry before we add the second coat. Now, the other thing I want to tell you is if you want to repurpose a container of a candle that has already burned down, okay? If it's already completely burned down, I want to tell you what I do so that I can, can get the candle out. This is what I do. 
when it's burned all the way down, I stick it in the freezer. I stick it in the freezer for a while. And what happens is whatever little bit of wax or whatever is left in the bottom, when it freezes, it draws up and then it just chips right out. It just chips right out. And then you can you have a clean, clear container um, that you can use. And you can, again, repurpose, decorate with napkins, um, paint out, you know, whatever, however you want to use it. OK, so that's what I do. Do you all have a technique that you do to get the, the leftover wax out of a candle that you want to reuse the container? I repurpose containers all the time. I love to. But that's what I do. I do the freezer method. I just pop it in the freezer and it doesn't take long at all. And the wax just draws up and then it just chips right out. It just comes right out. Super simple. All right. This doesn't have to be the best paint job. We just want to have a coat. Again, this is going to be a candle I plan to burn, right? So if I plan to burn this candle, I've got to have a layer. I'm using chalk and mineral based paints, my country chic paint. I've got to have a layer between the glass and the Mod Podge because otherwise the glass gets hot. It activates the Mod Podge. You wind up with kind of a mess. You can wind up with a mess. Okay. All right. Let me put this to the side. Let's dry this again. Such an easy technique. Think about like Christmas, right? right? Like candles are such a great thing to give at Christmas and Amy at Wix Wax Candles has so many amazing scents. Just absolutely amazing. Um, she even has wax melts. She has the little minis if you want to just, you know, try out some scents. And then um, those of you that are interested in her Candle of the Month Club, it's like $16. It's very inexpensive. I think it's $16.95. And you get a candle this, this size every month. And if you've been to like Bath and Body Works and places like that, you know um, you're getting a good deal. All right. I just want to get this dry. So I leave the rim. I don't paint the rim. I always just leave this part clear. Such a cute container. Okay, Carol says she uses really hot water to loosen the leftover wax in the candle. You don't even have to do that. Throw them in the freezer. It's amazing. The wax just draws up literally. It just chips out totally clean. So easy. Try the freezer method. It really does work. Okay, is Amy on here now? Amy needs help to see her. Huh. Oh, oh, does she want to come on with me? Where is she? Where are you, Amy? I don't see you in the comments. There you are. Okay. I see Amy right here. Okay. There she goes. This is Amy and Tracy doesn't seem to be able to see me. I cannot seem to ask to get on her live. <laughs> okay. Amy, I'm going to send you the link. Okay. All right. I'm going to send you the link on um, Voxer. Okay. I'm going to send you the link. I didn't know you were going to come on live with me. That's awesome. Okay. Let me get this to you. Hang on. Do, do, do. How exciting. Oh, come on now. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. Hang on. There we go. Okay, Amy, there you are. Okay. Okay, Amy, I just sent you the, the link on Voxer. I'm so glad you get to come in and join me. Awesome. Okay, let's make sure this is getting nice and dry. 
still just a tiny bit wet. Yeah, two for one. <laughs> Um, after the freezer method, usually I just take, um, I usually just take like a plastic, you know, or a, you know, the little flat kind of spatula looking thing. Um, and it just pops right out. Everything just pops right out. I haven't, I don't usually see any kind of, um, usually just all pops right out. It's just totally clear. Okay. So fun. Maybe you have, um, there she is. Okay, let me get her on screen with us. Hi, Amy. Hi, how are you? Good, 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 good. Okay, good. I'm so glad that you got to pop on with us. Oh. Let me, I'm going to make you, hang on, let me work. There we go. I want to make sure they can kind of see what I'm doing. But why don't you tell everybody about your wonderful candles? I've been talking about them and several people here actually have um, already ordered from you, which is great. Can you hear me? I oh, okay. Hang on. Repeating. Okay. So I don't know if it's doing that. Okay. For no, I fixed you. Your, your mic was muted, but I fixed it. So you're good now. You're good. You can talk now. They can hear you. Okay. <laughs> you, you can hear me now? Okay. Yes. So tell us about your candles. Is it echoing for you as well? No. no? I don't okay. hear anything. Okay. Um, for, I didn't really need to actually come on, but it's great to be able to talk with you. Um, yes. I was just going to let you know with the label, uh -huh. you actually heat it up with the heat gun and then you kind of scrape it off with like a scraper. Okay. Um, you can use like a razor knife, but you got to be really careful with that. But just like a scraper, that's yeah. how you have to get them off. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That if is you actually want to remove it. Yes. That's good to know. Now, because we're going to add napkin art to it, Honestly, it's never, it's, it's going to be fine. It's just going to kind of, I just sanded over kind of the raised part to make it smooth. And so I think it'll be fine, but thank you for giving us some advice on that. That's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> so I told everybody, Amy, I'm going to be giving away one of your candles live oh, today. Cool. Isn't that going to be fun? So again, I'm just going to say this one more time. If you want to burn your candle, right? We need to make sure that we have a coat. I like two coats. I'm a two coat girl of chalk and mineral base paint onto the glass. It's great for glass, metal, all the things. Um, and two coats is plenty. It does not have to be perfect by any means because we're going to add some napkin art on top of it. Right. So I kind of pulled out some spring napkins. I was like, oh, something like that could be pretty. Um, I love, there's so many beautiful spring napkins out there right now. I love this one. I think that one's really pretty. Um, this one with the tulips is pretty. So, you know, again, this could be something that you could do to actually customize it, um, and make it, um, a certain color scheme or anything like that. So it's really going to transition this. And because we want to burn the candle and the glass is going to get hot, now that we have um, our paint on here, after about 24 hours or so, this is going to really harden up. 24 to 48 hours, it's going to really, really harden to the glass. Okay. And then we have that kind of in between layer between that and our Mod Podge. Okay. So it's going to be perfect. Now, if we put, the, if we were repurposing this after the candle was gone, I still like to paint them. I still like to paint them, especially if I'm putting napkin art on them because napkin art can become kind of translucent. So depending on what you're going to put into the jar, um, I still like putting some paint behind my napkins just because it really helps the napkin art pop, right? It just really, really helps the napkin art pop. And um, some of them, Amy, have already gone over to take your scent quiz. And uh, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm kind of leaning towards... I'm kind of leaning towards this one right here. I think this one's pretty. Amy, do you want to choose? 
Should we do um, tulips? Should we do this one? I like the butterflies too, or we could even do a little bit of. I like I like the butterflies. Okay, let's work with the butterflies then. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this napkin. And let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and just cut this one square here. So the other cool thing about napkin art is you could cover just certain areas of the candle or you could cover the whole entire candle. That would be really pretty. So let's just kind of look here where we're going to be with this. I could probably raise this up just a hair. So let me cut a little bit of this excess off right here. So I'm going to put the napkin right here on this broad part because what's kind of fun is this part could get wrapped. Maybe we want to wrap it with jute or, you know, something else. We could actually kind of put something decorative along there. All right. Look how pretty that's going to be. Okay. I'm going to take off a little bit of our excess napkin here now. So I'm just kind of cutting along this edge doesn't have to be perfect by any means and I need something to keep this from rolling let's try that okay so now I'm going to take apart the napkin tissue okay which um, you can do this in a couple different ways I do what's called um, a lick and stick <laughs> Amy's <laughs> probably like oh my gosh this is so gross but I always have my fingers in their mind and it's my DNA and all the things so right. I tap and I tap Okay, so it gets a little bit sticky and then you can kind of press your fingers together and do you see how it just kind of pulls oh, the cool. pies apart. So um, I have been told that evidently I have really like magic sticky spit. Um, <laughs> so if somebody out there has trouble doing it this way, you can also just put a tiny little drop of Mod Podge on your finger and again, just tap it to where it's not so glue. It's just sticky and it will help that come off. Okay, this was a two-ply napkin, so we had to take off two plies. Look how pretty that's going to be. It's beautiful. Oh, okay. So let me go back to this screen. And then I was telling them how you hand pour, um, how you hand pour them. And why don't you tell them a little bit about, like, the, uh, the actual candle of the month club. Okay. Well, um, I'm decoupaging here. All right, the candle of the month club, you get... The jar is a signature jar just for the Candle of the Month Club. Nobody else gets mm -hmm. that jar. Um, and the scents for the Candle of the Month Club is exclusive to the members. Nobody else anywhere on any of my sites or specials or pages can get those scents. It's, it's exclusively for them. Um, it is only $16.95 a month. Um, and... Let's see. Sometimes you get a free bonus gift as well, um, depending on what the candle scent is. I will pop something in that might go along with that or something. Um, awesome. So we get yeah. maybe even a little surprise. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Just every right. once in a while. So it's not, you know, you're it's it's fun because you're not expecting it, you know. Right. A little yeah. treat. I love yeah. that. Surprise and delight, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I want you to see that I put down a layer of the Mod Podge and I have just kind of laid my napkin tissue on top of it. Now, because this candle is smooth, the jar, the glass jar is smooth. I'm going to use one of my um, plastic wrap sheets. This is Deli Bakery plastic wrap. And it's awesome when you want a really smooth finish and you don't want any wrinkles and all the things. So we're going to use this. And then when you come down here to the bottom, can you see my fingers here? I'm just that, that tissue that's, that's, it's just going to, we're just going to push this. So it's wrapped around the edge, that kind of rounded edge of the candle. And then we're going to carefully peel this back up. And I need to add a little more Mod Podge over here on this side. So let's do that. And I am using Mod Podge matte. I like the matte finish um, for napkin art. And 
uh, most of the time when we're using glass, just in case if you're in my napkin club, um, you've heard me say this, most of the time when I'm using glass, I use the hard coat. Uh, but we're actually putting this onto um, the painted glass. And so really, honestly, you could use the Mod Podge matte or the Mod Podge hard coat, which is the purple label. So either one of those is going to be just fine. since we have um, this kind of barrier between um, the glass and the Mod Podge being um, our paint. Okay, so let me just kind of show you how this is looking so far. Isn't that beautiful? Now look at the bottom. See how it just, just conforms around the bottom. Let's go over here. I need to add a little more Mod Podge on this side. Oh, I guess it's got a little bit right there already. And I'm going to do the same thing. Let me grab another sheet of plastic wrap. This could be plastic wrap from your kitchen. It could be saran wrap. I really like these deli bakery sheets. Um, they're fabulous for napkin art because they don't stick to each other. All right, and we're going to keep going. Now you can see that I lost a little tiny bit of paint here. And that's probably because maybe the paint wasn't completely dry and it kind of stuck onto my messy mat here. Um, but that's a simple touch up. It's just a sim simple touch up with the paint and then we'll dry it and we can continue adding the napkin art. So again, just to kind of show you what this is gonna look like. Isn't that pretty? It's pretty. So it's just a really fun way to come in and customize these containers, whether you're burning the candle and then after the candles burn down, you can repurpose these for cute containers for all kinds of things, whether it being your craft room, anything like that. So fun. Amy, do you have a favorite scent of your own? Um, yes, right now, one of my favorite scents is dandelion pear. Oh, yeah. dandelion pear. That sounds interesting. Yes, because I'm not really a huge floral fan. I'm but, not either. Um, I love, I love fruit, bakery, anything yummy, goody scents. Um, yeah, kind of like you too. do. Yeah. Um, but the dandelion pear just is, it's not really flowery. It's just spring. Everything, it just it's, it's mm, a I, very love the, I love the thought scent. of pairing that, like pairing a floral with a, a fruit. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. All right, I'm going to take another napkin square. We're going to go keep going here. I want it to look pretty all the way around. So why don't you guys tell us in the comments, what kind of, uh, what kind of candle person are you? Tell us what kind of candle person you are. What are your favorite scents? Maybe you can give Amy some ideas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> On scents she can add to her lineup. Can you see the comments? Yes. Okay, good. I have to put my spectacles back on, but yes. Okay, <laughs> okay I see pe peony lilac. Ooh, sage oh. and woodsy. Mm-hmm. Cinnamon is a yummy one, too. I love cinnamon. You can't go wrong with that. Grapefruit scent is good. I just did a fun box. I, I do a celebration box where I kind of put a memory together. Um, and I did, I recaptured going back to elementary school and eating a peanut butter and jelly. So I had a peanut butter candle, a jelly candle, and a, and a little glass of milk, which was, you oh, know, how funny. Kind of fun. <laughs> Well, you know, they do say scents definitely bring back, bring memories back, you know. Oh, yes. I am not a rose fan at all, but my mom loves ro loved roses and lilacs. So every mm -hmm. time I smell those, I just, you know, I think of her instantly. Yes. It was funny the other day, not too long ago, um, 
we were at the, it was like, I think we were at a ballpark or something. And um, one of the kids was, or maybe it was, I don't know, somebody was having practice or something somewhere um, for my grandkids. And I smelled honeysuckle. And immediately oh. it threw me back because when I went to elementary school, our whole playground area on the fences were nothing but honeysuckle. And I still remember going and pulling the little honeysuckle, you know, the little thing out, mm -hmm. you know, and we taste it. <laughs> So, yeah, it is funny how certain smells bring back certain memories. Yes. I think y'all can see I've just kind of laid. This is just the other side of the, the napkin. And I'm going to keep it. I'm going to start just kind of smoothing it. I did better on putting down enough Mod Podge this time. What about smells like lavender? Yes. Um, lavender, lavender with other vanilla, things. Lavender sage. Yep. I've always heard lavender smells or scents supposed to help you sleep, relax yeah. you. Especially like if you add chamomile to it. Um, oh, yeah. Lavender and chamomile. Can y'all see what I'm doing? How I'm just pushing this down. It's going to look nice and pretty and professional. Now we're just going to take that back off. And you can't see where Wix Wax, you can't see the little label anymore. Because the napkin art just kind of just, just disguises it all. Ooh, it's still kind of wet. Let me set it right here. And I'm going to bring this out a little bit. Let's dry it. Now the tissue, we have to remember this is still just a tiny thin tissue. So it's going to be important that we do a top coat over the whole thing, right? We want to protect it. It's going to do a couple different things for us. It's going to seal the napkin, right? It's going to seal it so that we can wipe it down, clean it, anything like that. Um, it's also going to help our napkin art to be more transparent. And um, I love that too. It's going to give it a nice kind of like a satin finish and it's going to look beautiful. So let me do the top coat right quick. Peach vanilla sounds heavenly, Marilyn says. <laughs> I sanded the label down. You guys, I just sanded the label down. Um, but Amy said that, Amy, tell me again what you said about um, removing the label. Well, if you want to remove it completely, because it's not mm -hmm. a sticker per se, not like a label. It actually mm -hmm. um, is it, on the jar. So you can heat it up with a heat gun and um, you have to like scrape it off. Like like when you have those little scrapers that you clean your uh, dishes out with. Yeah. Something like that. And you yeah. scrape it down. Um and it will it will come right off. And then what you need to do is get like um, a baby wipe or something and wipe the rest of the stickiness off of there. And then it'll be it'll be good to go. Oh, awesome. Um, Tamara's asking if you sell your candles in stores. Um, I am just starting into that. So, yes, I will. Um, but I I'm not branched out into different places yet um i think she's and what amy's talking about is uh, she may start you may start seeing some of her candles in gift shops yes um, in her area on the east coast yes or around the east coast right yep so if you're watching and you want to order some candles from her um she was kind enough to give me an affiliate link so there's an affiliate link in the description on this post and Cheryl's also been posting them. Um, Cindy's asking if they're soy. And yes, they are. Yes, they are. You can talk to that, Amy, if you want to. Yeah, they are completely 100% soy. And they are also, um, they have a lead-free cotton wick. It's amazing how much lead and different things that they put is zinc and different things that they put inside of the wicks that are not good for you. And um, so I make sure that all of, and my, my scents are phalaliate. I'm not sure if I'm saying that word right. It's about yay long and 
you know, only has one, uh, like, um, vowel in it, but um, it is phthalate free, which means that there's um, no harsh chemicals in there. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad that you always, uh, I'm glad that you think about our health. Yes. <laughs> Because a lot of us have, um, uh, you, I know, have had some health issues. I have had health issues. And it's one of those things where we, it is something that we need to be more conscious of, um, you know, as a society. This is still drying a little bit, you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and kind of do a little bit of decorating up here. I just want to wrap this with jute. I think I, it'll be pretty nice and natural. And I'm underneath the rim, okay? I'm underneath the rim, so I don't have to worry about a fire hazard. And then afterwards, this will just be such a cute container that I can use. I'm just wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. I think I've just about got that part covered. And I'm going to tie it off in a knot, but then I'm going to put a cute little bow on there. All right, Tracy, I have to unfortunately jump off of here. I've got another uh, commitment. So I just want to say thank you so very much and thank all of your customers. They were very, very um, nice and helping me get on yes. here with you. Oh, well, <laughs> good. Helpful. Well, good. And I'm sorry I didn't see you sooner. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Well, thank, thank you. you for popping in. That was quite a surprise. Thank you. Yes. Thank Have a you. good Bye, day. Guys. Everybody say, say thanks, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She is so sweet. She is probably one of the sweetest, most tenderhearted, wonderful people I've ever known. All right. Okay. So all I've done, and this is still just a little, a little tad wet. So I'm going to try to hold it right here is I've just wrapped it, right? I think you can see that. I just kind of wrapped a few layers of the jute around it. It's just something fun to kind of give it some texture. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put um, a little bow on the front. And this will just be so sweet. So again, something uh, you can make for yourself, something you could customize and make as a gift. And I love that after the candles burn down, I'm going to stick it in the freezer so I can just, the wax will just, just pulls up and you could just chip it all right out. Just tying some little knots in the tails here. And I'm going to use just a little bit of hot glue. Let me think where I want this to be. I'll put it kind of right here. Now I don't want the bow to, I don't want the bow loops to kind of go up. So what I can do is put again, just a t another tiny little bit of hot glue. And I'm going to take the top of the loop and glue that in place. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Probably should have cut that knot down a little shorter, but that's okay. It'll be okay. There we go. So cute. If you get any paint along the edge, um, as long as you know it's within the first, uh, I would go ahead and sand it pretty quickly. If you did get any paint along the top, if you just want that to be clear, I kind of like the top to be clear. Um, because if you wait too long, remember that paint's going to harden, right? So here's the thing. I've got layers going on here, Sue. So this is going to be perfect because I've got two coats of my Country Chic paint, right? I've got two coats of my paint going. Um, that is going to harden. It's going to get really nice and hard. So it's going to really harden to this glass surface. So that's going to kind of insulate some of the heat. You're still going to have some of the heat come through, but not enough to affect your Mod Podge. And I don't think it'll be enough to affect this bow either. Okay. All right. If you want to put a cute little button or something on that, you could. 
Get a little button. I like buttons. And now you have a really cute customized candle jar. So sweet. Isn't that fun? <laughs> and it'll especially be cute because then you're not going to want to give it away. Uh, you're not going to want to trash it. We don't need to trash this stuff. Let's repurpose it. Let's repurpose it. Let's give it a fresh new life. This will be a cute little container that you could use maybe in your craft room, maybe uh, in your kitchen somewhere, put some utensils or something like that in it. Um, just really, really super cute. And yeah, do y'all have any questions about the technique? I mean, super simple. I'm just going to kind of keep turning the candles so that you can kind of see. I think it turned out beautifully, right? Isn't that fun? <laughs> I'm really pleased with it. Let me just kind of lay it here. And then the other thing that you could do is you could do something on the lid. Okay. So that's another spot that, especially if you're giving this as a gift, it could be pretty to actually um, put some napkin art, maybe a pretty flower or just something here on the lid um, just to make it, you know, just, just to, Again, just to kind of customize it, right? Make it cute and pretty. <laughs> okay, now I have a candle to give away. All right, I have a candle to give away. I know you guys, we all, we probably all, if you're a smelly person like me, you're going to have a lot of candles, and I do. Um, I love candles. I just love them. And so I have a lot of jars that I have repurposed um, that originally started their life as a candle. And so it was fun being able to show you that you don't have to wait until they're completely burned down. Okay. But again, because of the heat, we need to make sure that they have a couple coats of paint. And I definitely am going to tell you for sure, this can't be craft paint. Okay. This cannot be craft paint. This cannot be acrylic paint. It has to be a paint that is like chalk and mineral based because it has to harden to that surface so that it will um, kind of help to insulate that heat. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. So if any of you would like to know more about napkin art, we would love to have you come over and join us in the napkin club. So you can get to the napkin club and get on our wait list right now at MissTracyCreates.com. And I would love to teach you more. Okay. <laughs> we send a beautiful variety of napkins out to our members every single month. Okay. All right. And thanks again to Amy and Wix Wax Candles. This was really fun. And I'm so glad she got to pop in. That was an unexpected surprise. <laughs>